Hello YouTube and thank you for stopping by for episode one of the Romans Redux. I guess after the introduction this would be the first actual episode. We made it through the friendlies, we brought some staff in, made a couple changes, changes on, on the team. team. So we're going to go ahead and go through that, kind of show you where we're at, and then we're going to take a look and try to do this Margate match, the opening match of the Vanarama South, and see how we can do with this. But before we get started with that, let's go ahead and roll that beautiful intro footage. It's really kind of funny for me as we do this because I've, I've done this save once and after I lost it I've kind of gone back and with the updated database so there's some changes that were made and some, some players moved around so I've kind of had to get used to that. We've made it through the friendlies, we're getting ready to get everything set, but let me show you some of the changes we've made here. The biggest one to start with is the staff. Um, when I took over, uh, Jim Rollo was the uh, assistant manager. I know he's a fan favorite stuff, but I let him go. I brought in John Gray, so he's my assistant coach. Man management of 15, uh, relying on him quite a bit. I also brought in um, a couple of coaches, Leon Molinus. Uh, he is one of my coaches, and then I kept the head of youth development. We had Billy Clark um, working with youngsters of 14, I think. Uh, he, he's going to be pretty good for us. I also brought in a chief scout and two scouts, uh, James Agnew, or Jamie Agnew, excuse me, is my chief scout. Player ability and potential of 10, which I think for me is a pretty good setup. I also brought in Pip uh, Driver, also 10 and 10 on uh, player ability and potential. And uh, the third one I brought in was David Daniel Cool, and he is 10 and 9. So I'm going to rely on them quite a bit to help me get some guys in. I also brought in another physio. I've got a head physio, but I brought in Damon, Damian Davey, who's a 16 on physiotherapy. Uh, I got him on 140 pound a week, so I'm, I'm really pleased with bringing him in. He would have been at Torquay and Exeter. Um, he's a lot better than my chief physio, but I think it's going to help with us there. One of the other things that I did was we set up a senior affiliate, which I was really kind of shocked that I was able to get the board to uh, agree to. We had a choice between um, Gillingham, who we chose, and Chesterfield. And when I looked at them, uh, Gill Gilliam, Gilliam, I'm not sure even how to pronounce that. How sad is that? The money was about the same, 13,000 pounds. But when I looked at the rosters of both of them, uh, this one was a lot better. And it actually has paid kind of dividends for us. For, and I'm going to share that with you in just a second. So standard setup when you have a senior affiliate they're going to send players to loan on us they're going to pay their salary we uh, have no obligation to play them and they can be recalled at any time we'll have a friendly we get to keep all of the receipts um, and they pay us 13 uh, 13,800 a year for it so it not not a bad setup for us and uh, Chesterfield was predicted to be I think 22nd these guys are 13th and uh, the uh, Skybet won, so I'm hoping it kind of works out for us. Um, Tactics-wise, I went with my standard. Um, I always do a 4-2-3-1, and that's what we get set up here. One of the huge changes that we've made as a result of this um, senior affiliate is I have brought Greg Kundal in uh, on a year-long loan as a striker. Um, I know we've got uh, Marvin Morgan in. I'm, I'm just not sold on him. Um, I mean, I've, I've listened to Bass City in real life, and he's he's. we're always kind of waiting. We're always kind of waiting. And when we do the comparison, I'm going to show you kind of this from a statistic standpoint. Let's see if I can find him here. Marvin. Um, we look at them uh, across. The, they're pretty even. But when you look at their attributes, and if we kind of share them here with as a poacher, you're going to see that first touch, Marvin's a little bit better, but finishing, uh, Greg Kundal is almost twice as good. Off the ball, he's better. Concentration, he's better. Composure, they're the same. Anticipation, they're the same. He's faster. He's, he's more agile. So looking at it from that standpoint, 
you know, it's 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 pretty obvious to me that, that this is going to be a better um, fit for us. The other big thing is if we look at Marvin, um, let me see if I go back to him here, go back to the squad. Marvin is costing us 17% um, of our salary packet. Um, we're paying 650 pound a week for him. And I can get Greg Kundle for free. So I'm going to be terminating the loan on Marvin Morgan, sending him back. Um, I think this overall is going to help the team financially. It's going to help us. And I think the fact that Marvin is 33 um, and Greg is, let me get back and look at him here. I think he's uh, like 2019. Um, I think it's going it, to it's going to help us out in the long run. Let me know what you think, though. Did I make a smart choice here in bringing Kundal in, putting him as a striker, and letting Marvin Morgan go? Uh, give me your thoughts. Uh, also, while we're kind of talking about that, I'm, I, you're going to notice that I got a different thumbnail. Um, I'd like to try to figure out a, a new intro and. As you have not, if you have not figured out, I'm not tech savvy and that kind of stuff. So if anybody wants to give me any help, advice on how to how to set up a new uh, intro, I'd be happy to hear it. Uh, so that's where we're at. If you look at the squad, I'm going to show you this real quick because you're going to see I've got a bunch of guys ineligible. I brought a bunch of players in on loan, probably or on trial, probably 20, 25 to look at. One of the big problems I'm running into, the weakness of the team, is I don't have anybody for left back besides Dan Ball. So uh, that's one of the things I've been kind of looking at. My plan is, if anything happens to Dan, to put Sakani Simpson in there. He, I've been playing him there in the friendlies, and he seems to be a pretty good fit there. Um, so speaking of the friendlies, let's see how we did. We started out the under 23 so I could kind of evaluate the team we won 3 nil, which we should have we then played Bridgewater uh, won 1 nil on that one then we played uh, Melksham won 4-2 and that one I, I gotta tell you that one I was really pleased with we went down 2 nil pretty quick um, and one of them was a Billy Murphy own goal then turn around and we scored four goals um, pretty quick and and brought that thing back so I, I was really pleased with that the Sheffield United under 23s, we won that one 2-1. Uh, we were supposed to lose that one, and they they did uh, fantastic in that one. We, we went down, if I remember correctly, yeah, we went down, uh, we scored one, they drew level, and then we scored another one to it, were able to win it. Shaquille Hunter, you can see, got man of the match in that one. He played phenomenally, and, and that's kind of the strength of that 4-2-3-1. Uh, then we finished up playing uh, Willand, which we won 3-1. Once again, I'm, I was really pleased with the way they came out of that. One thing that happened in that one which really hurt us was I got to the about 65th minute and I thought, okay, I'm going to start pulling guys out. We're up 3-0. I don't want anybody to get hurt. And about the time I, I'm, I'm deciding I'm going to do that, Frankie Artis, um, one of the main guys in my midfield, uh, the, one of my strong players, is out for five weeks with strained knee ligaments. Before I could get them all pulled, he gets hurt. So that, that kind of was frustrating there um, but that you know that's that's the way that the game bounces so our first match that we're going to be playing up here is going to be our opening match uh, against Margate we're traveling to Margate and uh, where we are projecting the board wants us to um, finish in in the top half they're expecting us in the FA Cup to reach the fourth qualifying round and they expect us to reach the uh, first round of the FA Trophy. If you watch my first series, you know that we made a nice run in the FA Cup, um, and that that set us up financially. I doubt I'm going to going to repeat that, so that's going to be interesting to see how how that all kind of transpires. But uh, with the team, this is kind of the starting lineup I'm going to be playing in this first match, and we got Craig Kundal up front. Uh, Shaquille Hunter is on the left, and on the right we have Nabi Diallo. Joshua King, I want to show you this guy real quick. He wasn't in the first save that I did on this, and he's he's 17, youngster, but boy, he's got he he has got a leg when it comes to free kicks. Um, so I'm really pleased that he scored I think three goals and the friendlies on free kicks. So I, I'm really pleased with him. 
It's got great vision, so I'm, I'm happy with what we got there. We got Lee Marshall and uh, Billy Murphy in the middle. Uh, that's where Frankie Artis should be playing beside Billy Murphy. But, you know, we got to go with what we go. Right back, we have um, George Rigg, and then Jack Batten and Chaz Hemming across the back. Dan Ball is our left fullback, and Max O'Leary in goal. I am definitely going to make sure that I don't mess up on the Max O'Leary uh, loan. I want to keep him as much as I can because I've, I've been looking at some goalkeepers, trying to get some ideas on, on that. But uh, if I can keep Max, I think that's going to be a, a great advantage for us. Uh, I've got them set up on standard. I may go uh, counter on this since we're going to be playing away. I haven't got the final team report on these guys yet. Instructions, I've got it pretty simple, uh, which is a little bit different for me. Uh, I play a deeper defensive line. I think my backs are not quite as quick as I would like them to be. So I, I keep on playing a little bit deeper so we don't get the ball played over top of us coming in behind us. Look for overlap and work the ball into the box. I think we do a lot better with that. And that's that's it. I'm, I'm not changing anything else. I'm keeping it very basic. I know the uh, assistant manager says we need to add more. And, but, uh, it seems to be working. And, and in one of these cases, I'm going to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So this is what we're looking at. We're going to get everything set up for the Margate match. And I'll join you back in a few minutes. Well, here we are. I thought I'd just let you kind of join us here. Looking at this formation, I've got my 4 2 3 1. Uh, Dan Ball, Chess Hemming, Jack Batten, and George Rigg across the back with Max O'Leary and Goldie Marshall, Billy Murphy in the middle, Shaquille Hunter, Josh King, Nabi Diallo, and Greg Kundal up front. They are running a 4 5 1, so I'm, I'm wondering if, if we're going to be able to break that down. I'm hoping that using the, the look for overlap, bring, pushing some more guys forward, we're going to be able to do that. I've got them set up on a counter. So let's go ahead and I'm going to give them their instructions and I'll join you back in just a second and we can get this thing started. My team talk didn't go quite as well as I wanted to. We've got one, two, three, four, five that got a plus one out of it. They listen keenly, but you know, we're tried a little assertive, get out there and get lucky and calm that I have faith in them. So let's go ahead and see how this thing goes. Get them out on the pitch. I just got Greg Kundal in, so I, I wish I could have got him a little bit earlier to see how he's going to play out. This is a big risk for me to start out with the first match of the season, never actually seen him play. But I just think looking stat-wise, it looks like it's going to be a, a good fit for us. So there we go. We get the, the match started. And this is a, a different uh, skin that I used before, so let me know what you think of it. Um, we're going to see how this thing goes. We got the scores coming up there. Um, people are actually getting some points. And, and the pundit said he, he thinks we're going to come out of a draw out of this thing. This is going to be one where, I, it, it, at this point, if we're getting any shots on goal, which it looks like Margate's got four, we've got one. We're not doing much with the ball, it looks like. Uh, no clear cut chances. Possession 49 51. Fouls are about the same. And we, well, here we go, our first highlight. Batten's going to clear it up to Josh King, over to Billy Murphy, pushes it over Lee Marshall. Lee's got it, pushes it back over to Josh King, and he's fouled. Uh, that should be a second yellow. Get him sent off there, ref. He's already on a yellow. He's talking to him. There it goes, second yellow card. They're down to 10 men. There we go. Now, Josh King, do your thing there. Well, obviously, I'll uh, try to push forward and make it count. I agree. Let's go ahead. I'll make those changes um, now. We've got, well, it's not going to give me the option to do that. Okay. We'll do that second half. I'm going to change it from, and Great Kundal right now is on a 6-2, so that may not have been a smart move for me. Uh, if we need to, I'm going to put Nick McCoody in there. Let's go ahead and, I'm not going to get aggressive. We can win this thing. Let's change this thing from counter to control. I thought I had it on counter. Let's go attacking. I mean, we've got a one-man advantage. I think they can get better. Come on, let's 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 do this thing, folks. Uh, weren't that bad? There we go. That's what I needed to see. Come on. Okay, we're gonna keep an eye on Great Kundal. Uh, Six point two's got me kind of worried, and we're gonna see what happens here. We're going to go attacking. Hopefully this doesn't backfire, but we got a one-man advantage, so let's see if we can take advantage of it. 
over to Lee Murphy, pushes it out to Nobby, bringing it down the right side. He's going to cross it in. Ah, it hits the post. And we're going to get it. Yep, we got a corner out of it. Josh is going to take it, push it in. They clear it out pretty easy. Lee Murphy is going to get it. Control it, guys. Over to Dan Ball. Shaquille. Over to Dan Ball, and he's stripped of the ball. Chaz gets it. Okay. I, am, I want to keep an eye on this. Chaz Hemmings gets a yellow. And we got a free kick. Okay. I really want to keep an eye on this because... Let's take a look and see how he's doing. Still at a 6-2. All right. Uh, let's see if we what we can do with this. Free kick to Margate. Boy, he this uh, this this uh, referee is kind of tough. I think I'm going to get to 75. Let's take a look at him again. Yeah, he's at a 6-1. Okay, come on, Nick. Get in there and do this. Let's get in there and do that. And let's get a little creative, guys. And we've got 10. We've got them outnumbered. We should be able to do this. And let's change this to control. Because we're not... It, it seems to not have benefited us by, by going on the attack. So... And I know they're going to be sitting back because we outnumber them, so and let's try one more thing. I cannot believe this. We are, we are... Let's get creative here, guys. Push them forward. Come on. All we need is just one shot. One shot is all it takes. There's Nobby. He pushes it in, and we lose the ball. Oh, Lee Marshall gets it. Gets gun to control, goes to Chaz. Come on, Josh. Pushes it out to Shaquille. Do your thing, Shaquille. Pushes it in to Lee Murphy. Over to Nobby. Nobby's got you. Oh, right to the keeper. Oh, man. And we've got about eight minutes left. Well, they're holding us. I can't. I can't. I mean, they've played a heck of a match, and we've dropped down to 12. Well, this looks like this is it. And there we go! Yes! 15 seconds left. Jack Batten, first goal, 90 plus. Yes! There we go. Fantastic, guys. Off the corner. Josh King pushes it in. Chas Hemming pushes it over to Jack Batten, who heads it in. What a what a play there. Set up beautiful. Beautiful guys. Great job. Come on, where's that final whistle? Let's hear that whistle. Let's hear that whistle. There we go. What a way to start the season. Fantastic result, guys. I'm really pleased. I got to keep an eye on Greg Kundal, though. I mean, that's that's one I, I, I got to keep an eye on. I'm very nice. I'm really pleased with them. I mean, they, they don't seem to want to respond to that. But I am. I What a way. And yep, Dan Ball gets player of the match. Let's go ahead and take a look at the analysis on this thing. That was huge. Moved us up to 10th. So there we go. Uh, eight shots to our 11. Four on target. Uh, they had none on target. Uh, six both on uh, off target. We had two clear cut chances. 54% possession. Nine corners to their three. So nice start to the season. I'm really pleased with that. Let's take a look and see where we're going to go and what's coming up next. Oh, our next one is home against Weston Supermauer, St. Albans, Truro, Bishop Stolford, East Thurick. Um, and then the 29th, we play against Poole. So let's go ahead and let's do a home match. Let's do that East Thurick match is when we're going to come back. And we'll take a look at that one. Hopefully, we can kind of keep this run going. And what I'm going to do to, to make this kind of interesting for me is I'm going to take a look at Bath City's real statistics. And, and we're going to see how we do compared to how they did. But let me know what you think of this. Let me know how we're doing, and um, we'll kind of see where we go from there.
Well, we just made it through our first live comm with a 1-0 victory in extra time. What, what a way to start the season for the guys. Playing against 10 men, we, I think we should have done better, but I, a win's a win. I'm going to be happy with that. Like I said, we're going to come back for the East Thurrick match, which will be on August 27th. We're going to do a kind of comparison there. Um, I hope you enjoyed what we're doing here, folks. I hope you enjoy the, the Romans Redux and what I, I'm trying to do here. And like I've said before, this, this team has kind of turned into the team I follow. I listen to them on the internet radio, and, and I've got jerseys coming. I've got a flag that I'm making. I mean, this this has really kind of become part of, of my everyday thing. So if you like what we're doing and you have not done so, go ahead, subscribe, folks. Hit that like button down there. Give me a comment. Tell me, did I do the right thing sending Marvin Morgan back? We'll see how that pans out for us. If nothing else, we're going to save some money off of it. So thanks again for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed Episode 1. I hope you see, we back. We, we see you back here for Episode 2, and hopefully by then I can learn how to talk a little bit better. So you all have a good one, and we'll see you on the next episode.